Open State Theater and Company presents Rabbit Hole Radio Theater's production of Portals. Episode 11, Revelations. What is it that makes me so important to you, Keys? What don't I know? You are the fulfillment of all my hopes and dreams, Allison. You are the key to the new Eden. Listen. Oh, I am. I am. Do you understand the vision of New Eden? Sure. It has something to do with unifying all the realities, right? The realities of the Omniverse are splintered, Allison. Like the fragments of a shattered mirror. Broken and ugly. Ugly? I've seen some beautiful things in the realities I've visited. But you have also witnessed horrors, have you not? Bloodshed and cruelty. Much of it directed against you and your friends. So the New Eden would get rid of that? Wipe out all the cruelty in the universe? We will make it anew. We will reweave the fabric of reality and transmute the dull gray of corruption into the golden light of purity and righteousness. That's a lovely metaphor, Mr. Keyes, but it really doesn't answer my question. Just exactly how do you reweave reality? I have been racked by that very question for at least five centuries. Um, centuries? Oh, yes. And every moment I've been plagued with the certain knowledge that all reality is tainted. Poisoned at its core. How do you know? Because that? I have seen the beauty of what it was meant to be. After all these centuries, the moment of my revelation is stark and clear in my mind. You see, I served God as a Dominican priest under Pope Sixtus IV. Wait, you're from Earth? During my time at the Dominicans, I had learned of a place of darkness, a foul cave known as the Devil's Gate. It was my intention to cleanse this vile place. What happened? The Devil's Gate was a portal, ancient and long forgotten. The bones of the heathen clerics who had known of its power littered the floor of the cave, and I crushed their memory beneath my feet as I entered. What happened? Did you know that portals drift with time? Yeah, we had that happen at the U Store It. The portal mechanics realigned them or whatever. Everything was fine. This portal had not been tampered with, praise Eden. The entrance was clear, but the destination had wandered into a place of sublime beauty. Where? The beginning. The womb. The place of the unmade and the pulse of all creation. It was the seed of all that could be stripped bare before me. No offense, but it sounds like a hallucination. It is very real, Alessina. Every river must have a source, and Father Keys has stumbled upon the wellspring of reality. It was a formless purity. No form, no structure could dwell within this divine forge. Then I understood. I transcended into a vessel of righteous purpose to cleanse the world and remake it in my perfect image. Your image? Of course. No one else could have stood at the very precipice of reality and remained sane. Mine is a singular vision, utterly unique in the experience of men. Is that true, lady? No one else has seen this place? It is not a place. It is a moment forever unfolding. A roiling chaos of perfect potential that is indeed the source of all things. No one could stand before it and remain whole. Save for me. I emerge from that place like the phoenix, burning with my vision of a new beginning. A new Eden. So you created a church to help you carry out this grand vision? The church sustains me, child, giving me the strength to seek the answers I require. What answers? Sounds like you had it all figured out. The purpose, yes. But the means to fulfill it eluded me until I chanced upon a reference to a lost empire. A reality that had wrought its own destruction and unraveled itself into the mists of the rift. That sounds familiar. I speak of the fabled empire of Shahrazad, called by some the Lost Reality. The scattered shards of Shahrazad were lost to me, but you opened the way to one last trove of knowledge, the Heart of Oblivion. Which the Tenexur were trying to keep hidden. Great. So I led you to the Tenexur shard, and you stole this Heart of Oblivion. Why are you still following me? The texts contained within the Tenexur library revealed to me the invocation of a negation matrix, an awesome force capable of wiping clean the slate of existence. You want to destroy everything? Remake, Allison. The matrix of reality must first be torn down so that a purer, truer vision can arise. Together, we can make that vision a reality. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Together? I thought my part was done. The powers unleashed by this awesome force are too unfocused. They will result in carnage, but not purity. Unless they are channeled through the unmaking soul 
of the Draconis. That's what the Tenexur call me. And that name echoes in the rift. Draconis, the Unmaker. Life is a cycle of destruction and creation. To make way for the new, the old must be torn down. That is what the Draconis is. Your soul is the manifestation of destruction. No. Whisper your denials all you want, Allison. Deep in your heart you know it's true. Look back upon your life, and you'll see the face of the Destroyer gazing back at you. You mean Uncle Max and my father? They died because of me? And the Tenexor? Oh my god. With every step you take, you walk the path of your destiny, Alessina. No one else can tell you where your path will lead, for it is your destiny. You must choose. Allison? No. If I have the right to choose, then so does everyone else. And I'm not going to make this choice for them. You want to tear everything down to your idea of perfection? That's your choice. But I'm not helping. Unfathomable! I'm offering you the opportunity to be a god, Allison! A god! I don't want to be a god, Keys. Maybe I'm not done figuring out exactly what it is I do want to be, but you can't help me with that. Lady, I didn't think I had any choices left. You've shown me that choice is the only thing that's truly mine. Thank you. Now, if you'll both excuse me, my friends are probably worried. Allison, don't go! Have you gone mad? Allison! Now you, Solomon Keys, have a choice to make as well. How dare you presume to interfere with my plans? Who are you? Your fury will be your undoing. Your will has overshadowed your heart, and you do not see the choice that lies so clearly before you. Wait. What is this place? Where are we? The portal of all worlds. I have read of this in the heart of Oblivion. It is said that a portal to every reality resides within its domain. That is true. From here one can touch all of creation. Touch it? Oh yes. One final caress. I can see your intent like a shadow against the sun. You desire to return here and destroy all that is. But you will endeavor to thwart me, will you not? Are you the protector of all that is? I am the Lady of the Rift, so named by Alicina Draconis, called the Unmaker. I cannot stop you, nor would I if it were in my power to do so. I am but a guide on the path of destiny. The steps you take are yours, not mine. Then you will soon be without a purpose. I shall seize the reins of destiny and bring this flawed creation back into the void from which it came. But first... The Draconis must suffer for her heresy against me. Winter! Winter, how is she? Michaela. She stirs as though she has bad dreams, but she does not wake. I don't get it. Allison may be a riff walker, but I didn't think she could mess with somebody's mind like this. It was not the Draconis who did this, Michaela. How do you know? The Hergrasha is a spirit priestess who listens to the Rift and obeys her commands. Yeah, so? The Rift has spoken. It shouted in her soul and she's trembling under the fury she heard. Whoa. That was... that was the Rift talking through her? I have seen this before, but never so strong. The Unmaker must have angered the Rift greatly to have called down such fury. I don't blame it, her, whatever. If you hadn't shown up when you did, I'd have laid out Little Miss Allison Riftwalker myself. I can't believe I ever thought of her as a friend. That is past. The woman you knew has been wiped out of existence. She- Oh, Tenglacha. I'm here, Holy One. Where is the Draconis? Gone, consumed in a flash of light. The Rift has claimed her. No! She lives! That cannot be. We saw her. The Rift opened her arms to me, Tenglacha. She took me and showed me the worlds. Oh. Be still, Holy One. You must rest. No. We were wrong. The Draconis is... Tenglacha, the sentries have captured a fugitive from the Church of Shadows. From New Eden? Oh man, he's history. After what they did to us... Take us to him. Rest, Tegrasha. We will return to you soon. Tegrasha, you must hear me. And I will, I swear. But this must first be resolved. Rest now. Come, Michaela. Yeah, take it easy, Tegrasha. This won't take long. 
Where did you find him? He staggered in from the north perimeter. He is wounded. The sentries were not gentle with him? He was wounded when they found him. Please, you've got to listen to me. We're all in grave peril. Be silent. Answer our questions and you may live. What? These are the guys that attacked your home and stole the heart of oblivion from you. And you're gonna let him walk away? This is no warrior, Michaela. He poses no threat to us. But the Draconis does. Please, let me speak. What do you know of the Draconis? Allison Drake has gone mad. She has destroyed the Temple of New Eden, and she intends to unmake all reality. Does she have the Heart of Oblivion? Yes, and she will use it to destroy us all, please. Shut up! So, the Draconis has come into her power. We are too late. What do you mean? We can take her. I'm telling you, she's a wimp. We can no longer find the way to her. Those who had tracked her were lost in the attack of the Shadow Guard. I know how to get there. Orlando? Dear boy, you've been here for three days. Go home and get some rest. I'll call you the moment she arrives. Is there still food in the fridge? Uh, yes. Then I'm staying. Though I might want to use the shower pretty quick here. Barnaby? Orlando? Allison! Allison, thank God. We were worried crazy. Where the hell have you been? Uh, on a really wild ride. I think I've been to the edge of reality and back. Well, it's the and back part that counts. Indeed. Why don't you sit down, dear? I'll make a fresh pot of tea. Thanks, Barnaby. That'd be great. So, where's Michaela? Did you find her? Yeah. Rune took me to the new Tenexor Rift Shard. What? Oh, no. She isn't kidnapped again, is she? Nope. Uh, so what's she doing there? Living out her warrior princess fantasies. She's decided the Tenexor Shard is her new home. So, we've had a parting of ways. I don't believe it. That's crazy. They're trying to kill you. What, what's she thinking? She's made her choice. It's hers to make. So, what have you guys been doing? Well, in between hourly phone calls to the police department, emergency room, and the morgue, it turns out I can make negation matrices. Matrices, Mr. Waters. Yeah, what he said. Tell me you're joking. It was an accident, I assure you. But it seems Orlando has an unusual affinity for dimensional energies through his music. You accidentally created a negation matrix in my self-storage offices? Well, yeah, but I got it under control. Jeez, I leave you guys alone for a couple of hours and you start tearing up the floorboards of reality. A couple of hours? My dear girl, you've been gone for more than three days. What? Temporal distortion, remember? You should know that by now. Yeah, it really makes it tough to buy welcome home gifts, too. Huh? Well, I got you these a couple days ago. I think they're a little squishy by now. Oh, chocolate-covered strawberries. I know they're your favorite. That's so... Oh, my God. What? Allison, what's wrong? I get it. The third test. I get it. What test? Look, the Tenexor grabbed me and were going to kill me, but the lady saved me. Lady? You mean Michaela? No, no. The Lady of the Rift. Okay, you lost me. You remember those dreams I was having? And the voice you kept hearing when you crossed a portal? Right, that's the lady. Like a goddess of destiny or something. She gave me these wild tests to help me understand what's going on. The first one was my dad, the second was Michaela, but I didn't pass the third test. Why not? Because... because I didn't recognize who was talking to me. He said he was made by you and me. I thought he was our child or something, but that wasn't Whoa, it. Whoa, our child? Allison? So you figured it out? Uh-huh, just now. When two people are in love, really in love, something new gets created. See, Orlando, there's you, there's me, and then there's us. Us. I get it. Like the whole being more than the sum of its parts. Exactly. Orlando, he was telling me that together, you, me, and us, we can do some amazing things. <laughs> I've been telling you that all along, darling. You just got to have a little faith. I know. I get it now. Thanks for being so patient. Trust me, you're worth waiting for. <clears throat> well, it sounds like you had quite an adventure. Oh yeah, and it doesn't end there. There's more? One last bit. Uh, Keys is a lunatic. Solomon Keys. The high prelate of... Of New Eden, yeah. Turns out the church is just a front, and the pristine New Eden he's trying to build is actually the destruction of all the realities. Allison, you can't be serious. He found me while I was with the lady. He needs me to power the mother of all negation matrices. Matrices? And he came by to recruit me. Well, good lord. You refused him, of course. We're still here, aren't we? Quite so. Well, at least we don't have that to worry about. Goodness. Sounds like we have visitors. 
Ah, oh, jeez, can you handle this, Barnaby? I really don't feel like being social. Bring us the Draconis! Your birthright ends here! I don't think this is a social call, babe. Michaela? What? Good lord! It is Michaela! And she's brought a bunch of 10 XOR grunts with her. Take them all! Allie, run! Unhand me, you brute! Barnaby? Uh. Allie! Hey, let me go! Be still, human. This will be over shortly. You, pick up the Draconis. Uh. Give her to me. Michaela, you don't have to do this. You are wrong, Unmaker. She must. Michaela, finish her. What, me? Yes, you. It is time for you to demonstrate the heart of your choice. Oh. Michaela, don't you see? You hurt me and you'll be hurting yourself. If you kill me, then... then a part of you will die too. Sorry, babe. Kayla, listen. This is your choice to make, but do you think killing me is going to fix anything? Yeah, it will. It'll stop you from unmaking all of reality. Michaela, I'm not going to unmake reality. Enough! Michaela, if you are unwilling to strike this blow, there are many here who would be honored by the chance. Kill her, or step aside. It's your choice to make. Yeah. I know. Ranash Tarad! Uh, Michaela. I'm sorry, Winter. I made my choice. Then gotcha! Why to be duck? Move aside, human. The Draconis is mine. Ugh. Allie, look out. I got him. Uh, Everyone, over here. I'll rift us out of here. You cannot flee, Draconis. The rift is our home. There is no place you can hide. Nowhere can you flee where we will not find you. You will all die! He's right, Allison. We can't outrun them. We're doomed! You really gotta do something about that pessimistic streak, Barnaby. Huh? Uncle Max? Uncle Max? Uncle Max? Max, thank God. Uncle Max? Who is this Uncle Max? Who I am isn't important. What you should be worrying about right now is the squad of Shadow Guard about five steps behind me loaded for bear. Or in this case, Tenexur. Uncle Max, but... Now the way I see it, instead of slicing and dicing my friends and family here, you ought to be hooking up with us so we can take care of the problem at hand together. So what do you say? You lie, human. Quite often, actually. But not this time. Problem is, by the time you figure out I'm telling the truth, we'll all be kibbles and bits. So here's the deal. If I'm lying, you can hack away at my kin here. What? But if I'm not lying, then the only sane plan is to call a temporary truce and deal with this whole birthright draconis nonsense later. Hmm. In about 15 seconds, we'll know one way or another. So what's it gonna be? All right, human. 15 seconds. Great. All right, now they're homing in on Allison, so that's where they'll come in. All right. Everyone, spread out. Max, I... And sit tight, sweetheart. This will all be over in about three, two... Hey, they're early. Squad, fan out and search for survivors. At once, Commander Razad. I think you're going to find a few more survivors than you were expecting. What? <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. No! Barnaby, what's wrong? My hair is tweed, it's ruined! Look at this, Max! Look at it, the entire back seam is torn, and I haven't the foggiest idea how one removes ten Akasua bloodstains! Count your blessings. Did you see what they did to those Shadow Guard? Oh, yes. Horrible. But not without its poetic justice, I suppose. Well, you pick a fight with the Demons of the Rift. Is everyone accounted for? Oh, yes. Once the Shadow Guard surrendered, the Tenex Sewer showed remarkable restraint. Good. There are a few answers I'd like to get out of Razad. So why are the Tenex Sewer still hanging around? They took some heavy losses in the fight. They're preparing the bodies to be returned to their shard. I also think they wish to speak to Allison. Where is Allison? She's over there with Michaela. Well, I guess I better get over there and face the music. I've got a lot of explaining to do. No, Max. I think it's best you'd left them alone. They have some things to work out between them. So, are you okay? Yeah, I guess. I've got a black eye and a few bruised ribs, but I'll survive. Good. Allison, I... 
I'm sorry about all that. I hope we can put this behind us. You're sorry. Michaela, you held a sword to my chest. You were going to kill me. Yeah, I know. It was stupid. The whole thing was just... I'm really, really sorry. I know you are. Good. So, are we okay? I don't think so, Michaela. Look, Allie... No. Michaela, we can't keep doing this. What? I know you're a free spirit and you gotta live your life and make your choices. And like I said, I respect that. But girl, those choices almost got us killed tonight. Yeah, but it all worked out okay. Okay? If Max hadn't shown up, we'd be dead, Michaela. Yeah, but if Max hadn't died or whatever, none of this would have happened. Look, Max is my problem. It has nothing to do with you and me, all right? But Allie, he started all of this. Stop it! Stop refusing to take responsibility for your own problems. It's not about him or anyone else. It's about you. Allie, come on. You're my friend, Michaela, and I love you like a sister. But you've been using me like a crutch for years now. And not just me, everyone around you. Orlando, Chuck, the Tenexor. I I don't know what's wrong with you, Michaela, but you're broken somehow. That's a little harsh. That may be, but the choices you've been making have been hurting both of us. And I can't do it anymore. So what are you saying? I'm saying goodbye, Michaela. What? Look, I know you're pissed, Allie. I'm not pissed. Fine. I know you're mad, but... No. Just like you said, I want to put this behind us. But where we go from here, we go separately. Okay. I'll give you a call in a couple of days and see if you're feeling... Don't. If our friendship means anything, respect me on this. It's over, Michaela. Goodbye. Allie? Orlando, make sure the ropes are especially tight on Commander Rizard. I don't want him wriggling away. This is pointless. You've already lost and you don't even know. Yeah, yeah. Tough talk for a guy who's hogtied like a Bangkok bar girl. We'll get to you later. Oh, there you are, Allison. Hey, where's Michaela? She's not coming back. I asked her to leave. Oh, dear. Oh, babe, I'm sorry. That must have been rough. Thanks, Orlando. But it wasn't as rough as you might think. Well, it looks like everything's under control. Nothing like a nick of time rescue to dress up the old resume. You're looking pretty lively for a corpse, Uncle Max. Or should I say, Dad? Barnaby. Elizabeth told her, I swear. Barnaby's been pretty honorable through this whole thing. Mostly. You, on the other hand, have a lot of explaining to do. I know, honey, and I'm sorry. If you just give me some time, I'm sure you can Time! None of you has any time! What are you squawking about, Razad? Even now, his eminence is making his way to the portal of all worlds. The negation matrix he releases there will spread like a virus to every reality in existence. Soon, the purity of New Eden will be at hand. What? But I thought he needed me to do it. You flatter yourself. The portal of all worlds touches everywhere. There will be no stopping the matrix once it has begun. You have become inconsequential. What? Dear God, Keys must be insane. Oh, he is. I can attest to that. Question is, what do we do about it? Well, I can try to control it with my music. I mean, I don't have a lot of practice, but I guess... Orlando, Keys is going to invoke a negation matrix from the heart of oblivion, big enough to destroy everything. It's a good thought, but I think we need a different plan. Okay, then what? We need someone who knows all the ins and outs of reality hopping. Someone who can give us an edge against Keys. Only one person comes to mind. Oh, Max, you can't be serious. You got a better idea? Who are you guys talking about? A master manipulator who has his withered old fingers in every reality from here to the Great Void, and with a soul dark enough to pierce every shadow in between. And that person is... Ambrose Royce. (laughs) 